Hey again, YouTube Nutch up with Machete back with. Well, you know how sometimes you guys will request a knife and I'll actually be able to get it because I was either interested in it or the manufacturer was really nice and helped me out, you know, mass long, so on and so forth. Um, but this was a requested knife. This is the Tonto Light. Now I've actually been debating getting the Kubun or the Tonto Light because they're both a very similar design. They're gold steel's Tonto design. Um, and yeah. I watched this one for a little while, and uh, it came down to a good price point, which I don't remember. I'll put the specs and the price and everything where I got it down below. Um, but yeah, it came down to a good price point, picked it up, and uh, yeah, it's actually pretty decent. There's one issue. Okay, there's uh, two little things to note and one issue. Um, the little things to note I'll talk about when I do the knife. The issue is with the sheath, which is why the knife is still in the sheath. It's a standard Securex sheath, just like with the Roach Belly, um, the Bowie Bushman, all the rest of them. What's the issue? Well, well, okay, sort of a two-issue thing. You can't really get a good purchase. You're kind of pulling on the bottom half of the knife, so when you pull it out there, and you can hear um, that loud snap. It takes a lot of effort to get the knife out of the sheath. The reason for that is, in the interior, they've got this little bump right about here that goes over and locks in place the handle. Uh, it's just little plastic things. So eventually they should wear out, or this will wear out, which I'm not too happy about, um, and it'll be easier to deploy the knife. But right now, as I'm pulling the knife out of the sheath, like I said, you know, you only get a purchase on the bottom half of the handle because it sits in so much, um, which I guess you could trim this off but mm, I don't like that. Um, it feels like you're pulling up your pants when it's attached to your belt, basically. Like you're kind of, you're, you're reefing up and you're suddenly pulling up by your armpit. So I don't like that, but I do like that it has a drain hole. Hey Rob, it's got a drain hole. Look, Rob, a drain hole. <laughs> Sorry, a little back and forth, Chad. Anyways, um, the knife itself is actually pretty cool. The things to be aware of, the two notes, um, the tang, you know how a full tang with true slabs on the side and stuff like that? Well, this is more of a rat tail. It goes down to this plastic uh, spike cap. It's an impact point. Um, and it is actually, you know, there, there is definitely steel in here. Um, but they've done an, a rubber overmold, so they actually have to taper it a little bit. So it's kind of, it's almost like it has to do a rat tail taper. So. That's one thing, and um, the steel it's made of, this is 4116 German stainless steel. It's a softer steel. Why do I bring that up? Well, let's see if I can show you guys, and let's see if I can bring it into focus. 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 I don't know if I can actually show it to you guys. Oh, what? Uh, if the light hits it right. Yeah, right there. You see kind of a little indentation really hard to see. Sorry guys. Um, but there's a couple of little indentations on here from uh, rivets or something like that. But the, the steel's soft enough that if you um, put a lot of downward pressure or something hard on it, you'll damage the steel. That said, 4116, uh, it's the same stuff that they made the Roach Belly, the Canadian Belt Knife, the Fin Bear, this, the Pack uh, Peacemaker 2, uh, the Elan and the Kudu, all of those out of, and I like almost all of those knives um, for the simple reason that this is a softer steel and you can get it. Skull, if you're watching, you're going to hate that I say razor sharp, but I do actually mean as sharp as my folding razor that I can shave with because uh, it, the, the steel allows you to get a really, really fine profiled edge. Uh, how fine? Well, I mean, we'll do the paper test before I show you the rest of it. Really fine. Really, really fine edge. Um, also, the design of this. Let's come close again. So it's a modified Tonto. Um, what some people sometimes call a North American Tonto. Because it's got this belly, and then a hard point here, and then a straight edge or sometimes a bellied edge. Um, 
But what that means is with this nice little sweep in the belly, you get a really good slash with it. And with this Tonto point being so aggressive, great penetration. How great? Meat test. Let's go to that. Holy shit. And... Okay. All the way through. <laughs> I don't... It looks disturbing. You... Well, okay, so... <laughs> yes, I've obviously had to... I'm pointing where I'm doing a meat test. I've obviously had to modify um, how I've been doing the meat test. You remember my stand? Well, my stand sat out for a little bit, and now it's kind of rotted. And I don't want to use it for meat tests because I'm going to eat the meat. So I've been hanging it from my cupboard, which allows for free movement, and I think might actually give you guys a better idea of penetration, stuff like that. Because if you're using this in that kind of situation, um, the meat is not necessarily going to be tied down in a oven. If it is, call a cop. Anyways, back to the knife. Um, full penetration through the meat. I mean, the blade went to, what, about here? And it went all the way through that meat. And that, that slash was just disturbing. So yeah, um, definitely useful for what the design seems to indicate its intended purpose was. Um, I should point out, so I flitzed the blade a little bit. I polished it up a little bit. But you might be able to see that the cold steel and the information and everything and the Tonto light um, has kind of come off a little bit. The Flitz is a mildly abrasive compound, and this is just silk screened on there, so don't be afraid if that kind of comes off after a while. What about the rest of the knife? Comfy handle, rubber over mold, like I said, um, little hollow safety guard, and plastic impact cap. Good for people, not good for hard surfaces. So you can impact into people with it just fine, but it's plastic, it'll snap off. Um, actually, it's the same thing. This up here is also plastic, it's not rubber. It, that's why it can work as the um, anchor point for that sheath. Anyways, um, is there anything else I can really add to it? I mean, you've seen the damage it did to meat. You can see how sharp it is with the paper. It's comfortable. It, yes, I can do this with it. Um, Actually, the rubber grip makes it easier to do this kind of stuff. So, uh, but it gives a really good purchase. Um, but yeah, pretty good little knife. Uh, it, oh, by the way, it actually surprised me with how big it was when it came in. I was expecting something a little more the size of like the roach belly or something. This thing's like a full inch longer than that. So I was pleasantly surprised with that. But yeah, not really anything else I can add. Um, I, Wish the sheath was a little bit different, but whatever. Uh, I'll probably make my own Kydex sheath for it and just mold it over top of this. Or maybe I'll make a nylon sheath and do a retention snap. We'll see. Thanks so much for watching this semi-rambling at the end review. If you like videos like this, feel free to click like. Feel free to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And as always, feel free to share this video because, I mean, 4116 stainless steel, but it's still a pretty damn good knife. Until next time, guys, I'm not Jump with a Machete, and like this knife, stay sharp.